everybody, I have a finger puppet tutorial to share with you today. We are going to be making a weather finger puppet inspired by a video I saw featuring some weather gnomes and I'll add the link to that video in the description below this video. So today we're going to work on our sunny weather finger puppet that can go on this wooden base that says weather. So the materials that you'll need for this project are a finger puppet base, which I picked up from a childsdream.com, some wool felt, some wool yarn, and this embroidery thread. So I have all of my embroidery thread organized on this wooden dowel, and it helps keep it from getting tangled, and it also makes it really easy to pull the threads that you need. So I'm going to pull this yellow thread that's very similar to the color of the felt for a nice tone on tone look. So the next thing I wanna do is measure off how much felt I'm going to need. So I just wrap the felt around the base of the finger puppet and then I can just trim off how much I need. I'm also going to trim off the lower part so that it ends up being flush with the finger puppet base. So these ones won't tip over at all. So the next thing I wanna do is embroider the word sunny on the front. So I'm going to pencil off where I want the letters to be so that it doesn't wrap too far around the finger puppet base. And I'm going to pencil in the word sunny so that I have a guide as I'm embroidering. So I'm going to do a simple back stitch in order to do the embroidery. And this was a little bit time consuming and a little bit tedious. And because my thread is so similar to the felt, it was a little bit hard to see once it was all done. And in retrospect, I probably should have used a darker color thread so that the wording could have shown a little bit better. So here it is when it's all done. It says sunny and I added a little sun up there as well. So I'm going to leave all of this stuff on the back the way it is because it's all going to get glued onto the finger puppet. So I'm going to work on her hair right now and I'm just wrapping a bunch of thread or yarn rather around my fingers and then I can snip both ends and that's just a quick and easy way to get some hair. And I'm going to cut this little triangle piece here to give her a little bandana. So I'm going to approach making the hair for her a little bit different than the way I mostly make hair for finger puppets in that I'm barely putting any yarn on her and usually I get a little excessive with the hair. But I thought that it would be better if she didn't have that much hair so that the lettering on her tunic could show so that you could see that it said sunny. But for the rest of the puppets in this series, um, at least for the girls, they all end up having quite a bit more hair. So she's a little bit different than the rest. And so once I get her a couple of strands in there, I realize that it's just not enough. And so I add a little bit more and then I'm going to glue down her little bandana directly onto the hair after I give her a little trim. Okay, so next I wanna work on gluing her tunic in place. And I just need to cut slits at the very top so that the felt can fold over and tuck in right under her neck because the finger puppet kind of gets smaller as it comes into the neckline. And so I just need to fuss a little bit more with this than other finger puppets because usually my other finger puppets have a bit of like a gap in the back with the felt and so then I don't have to fuss too much with the top part. So I decide that she actually needs a little bit more hair and I decide to put a few bangs in the front, but because I didn't glue her bandana all the way to the front, I could pull it back a little bit and add a little bit more hair so that it's a little bit fuller. It, it, I didn't end up with the look that I expected, so I, I wanted to add a little bit more hair for her. So the next thing we want to do is give her a little cape and also in retrospect it's probably better not to do this because it's again it makes reading the little word sunny on the front a lot more difficult when she's got more things on. But the cape is quite small compared to some of the other ones that I make for my finger puppets and so it won't be too hard to read but it just won't be as clear. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little button to her cape and then she's just about done. So here's a bit of a close-up look at 
the embroidery and the whole finger puppet. And you can see here a lot more that it's just too pale to really distinguish the lettering. If, it, if I'd gone with a golden color, it might have been a little bit easier to see the word sunny. And here's a little glimpse at the whole set of finger puppets. And if you wanna see the complete playlist of all the different weather finger puppets, you can click here for that playlist. And if you would like to see how we made the lettering on the little wooden plate that they're going to stand on, you can click here for that tutorial. And if you're on a mobile device, I'll add the links to those videos in the description below. And if you'd like to see more pictures, you can check out my website at pepperandpine.com. Thanks for watching.